Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. guys it's zerk schematic today with another youtube video and today i'm gonna be going over the legends that we have coming out tomorrow now i do have to say i'm personally excited because we get a cowboy tomorrow i'm always excited whenever we get a cowboys legend and i think it could make for a pretty intriguing gameplay with the pair of these two so you guys let me know down below if you want to see me do a gameplay with these guys or would you not let me know now, I don't give a shout out to Kyle Forrest for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. So, getting into the defensive legend for tomorrow, we have Royal Williams for my Cowboys. Now, I will admit, okay, I think I would have perhaps preferred if it was actually Pat Watkins. And the reason I would prefer if it was Pat Watkins is because Pat Watkins is six foot five. So obviously a six foot five safety, I would probably take over a six foot flat safety, which is what Roy Williams is. Uh, also would have just been an incredible, incredible user card to have Pat Watkins already in the game. I would have loved that. Last year, you got that canvas hero, but we got Roy Williams as the legend. Now this is the LTD version. So this is the same stats as the set card powered up. Uh, you can't upgrade this card anymore in terms of powering him up. You can't power up the LTD card. So he does have 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 89 tackling, 88 play rec. He's got 90 pursuit, also does have 81 man, 91 zone, and 92 hit power. So how does he stack up versus, let's say, Sean Taylor here, right? So, of course, this is Sean Taylor, uh, but this is unpowered up Sean Taylor. This is the LTD or, you know, the powered up version of the set card. So just remember, we're going to add plus one to everything with Sean Taylor so you can kind of understand uh, the powered up version versus powered up version. So 90 speed, 93 excel. Well, Sean Taylor powered up has got 92 speed. That right there alone is so crucial. That is so, so crucial having that plus two speed over Roy Williams. Now the acceleration would be a 92, which is one less. So, I mean, when you have two more speed, I don't really care about one less acceleration. Now he is six foot two, so he is two inches taller there. Uh, you guys can all see the man in zone, right? 77, 87. So it would be 78 and 88. So Roy Williams does beat him in the zone, which is over 90 given zones right now. Yeah, they don't really seem to play all that crazy in general, but I will say someone like Ed Reed, uh, for me, who has incredible zone, you definitely do notice on some plays that he does make a lot of plays. So like Roy Williams, depending on the route, okay, depending on the route alone, maybe he would make a play where Sean Taylor wouldn't make. But the plus two speed, I think, is really, really crucial. Uh, the 92 hit power, though, Sean Taylor, 91 hit power, so powered up also at that 92 hit power. And then 89 tackling, 88 play rec. You guys can see we have uh, a tackling of 85. And then the play rec is an 89. 86 tackling and 90 play rec. So how comparable are these cards? Honestly, if you're picking between them, I would definitely go with Sean because you get the speed there. You get a little bit more height. Uh, probably better when it comes to the run game. I don't know, you know, what the block shit is on this Roy Williams. But Sean Taylor, of course, has got 79 block shit. So just really, really good uh, when it comes to block shit there. So I'm not sure on Roy Williams. But honestly, with the way that I run my defense, I actually use like four safeties. So I may actually end up picking up Roy Williams. This is a, this is a potential pickup for me personally. You guys, let me know down below what you think about it. I wouldn't say he's much better than Sean Taylor when you say he's better than Sean Taylor because of that speed aspect, but he does have better zone. So that is the defensive legend in Roy Williams, and the offensive legend is Curtis Martin. I think it's interesting, though, that we actually got Rodney Harrison, and then we got Priest Holmes, right, for the Team of the Weeks. So our Team of the Week sort of uh, legend players, uh, you could say, were a running back and a safety. And legends, we get a running back and a safety. So that's just interesting there. But Curtis Martin does look pretty good. Now, he is an elusive back, which I will admit when it comes to running backs right now, I would so much rather prefer uh, if Curtis Martin was receiving back so he, you know, would get that backfield master for one AP. But he does have 91 speed and 93 excel, 90 agility, 91 carrying, 90 change of direction, 67 catching, 82 trucking, and 92 break tackle. Now, Curtis Martin 
is not a very big running back. I believe he will probably be 210 pounds tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. He's not, you know, 230 pounds, even like 233, 235, whatever. He's kind of a smaller running back. So he actually reminds me a ton of Priest Holmes, who literally just came out. So we compare these cards. And again, I'm going to add plus one to everything on Priest Holmes because this is the LTD version of Curtis Martin. Well, Martin's got 91 speed and 93 Excel. Priest Holmes, 90 speed, 92. So powered up 91, 93. So literally the same exact speed and same exact acceleration here as Curtis Martin. 90 agility and 91 carrying. Well, he's actually got a beat there. He's got 91 agility, but only 88 carrying. But again, powered up, you are looking at 89 carrying there. So slightly better for Curtis Martin. Catching is 67 and change direction is a 90. Catching over here, uh, you guys can see he's got a 72 catching and a 91 change of direction. So better catching and better change of direction here when it comes to Priest Holmes. Now the trucking and brake tackle you guys will see is a 77 and an 89 so the brake tackle here is a 92 so slightly better and then the trucking is an 82 so again just kind of slightly better but the thing is with curtis martin being what i expect to be 210 pounds the 82 trucking in comparison to you know priest holmes here powered up having 78 it's really not much of a difference at all and then powered up as well priest holmes is at a 90 brake tackle in comparison to that 92 so to be honest, this Curtis Martin is just a slightly, slightly, slightly better like trucking brake tackle uh, and better carrying back over Priest Holmes. But also Priest Holmes has actually got even better catching. So Priest Holmes better catching. Now maybe the juke move, the spin move is really, really good on Curtis Martin. I kind of expect to see that. So, you know, maybe there's that added aspect to it. But aside from that, the stats are very, very, very similar here to Priest Holmes. And even with, you know, the 91 carrying at, where you could power up Priest Holmes 7 89, probably not a big difference between 89 carrying and 91 carrying. And then, as I said, the trucking and brake tackle powered up to 90, powered up to 78. You're really just not even going to notice that. I, I don't really think you're going to notice the difference between 90 brake tackle and 92 and definitely not 78 trucking to 82 trucking with a 210 pound running back. You're not trying to truck anybody over with Curtis Martin anyway. So Curtis Martin, pretty similar pre Holmes. So those are the two legends for tomorrow. We've got Curtis Martin, which I think is really 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 similar to priest holmes but like i said you know we'll see about his short route running we'll see about his juke move his spin move maybe he's got really really good juke and spin so that could kind of separate him maybe gets a little bit better animations there so we'll take a look at that and then roy williams not as good as sean taylor but after sean taylor if you're looking to get a you know another free safety out there if you guys are like me and you actually run a lot of safeties i actually run sean taylor and i run ed reed and i think because I'm a Cowboys fan, probably, to be honest with you guys, I may end up picking up Roy Williams over Ed Reed and kind of rocking those two. So I'll have Roy Williams and Sean Taylor out there, and I'll probably end up getting rid of Ed Reed. But if you guys want to see a gameplay tomorrow, if these players do entice you and you want to see me do a gameplay, let me know down below. If not, I have some other videos that I can definitely knock out for you guys tomorrow doing some other videos planned anyway. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I feel like a lot of people kind of expected a uh, Michael Vick weekend this week. And I think with Team Diamonds coming out next week, I almost kind of expected this week of Legends to be not super crazy hype. Uh, I think some people will really enjoy Roy Williams and Curtis Martin. I don't think these are bad Legends, but nothing super, super crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.